again, Time Lords, humans, or whatever species or hybrid you may be. Hope you're having a fantastic day. Now I thought I would do another Doctor Who in real life video, because I for one enjoy making them and because I love the show so much, I like to often wonder if anything is seen in the episodes are possible in theory or otherwise. So this video will be me now going through whether or not the TARDIS, that is arguably the most recognisable image for the show, and probably seen as a Doctor Who icon more than what it was designed after, a real life 1950s police box. Now the TARDIS has a lot of qualities and features that seem very alien to me, and most people will probably be shouting at the screen, saying that the obvious answer is no. So I just assume you are here to look at it and understand the science and reason behind each point I'm going to make, and perhaps even learn something you didn't already know before watching this. You might want to grab a copper suit before watching this, as it's going to be a long series. Just before I get into it, if, if you have any ideas for, for future videos, and they don't have to be Doctor Who in real life ideas, as I definitely have other types of video ideas for this channel coming up, please let me know in the comments. Or if you have any suggestions for how I make my videos, as it is still early days for the channel. Now on to the video. So let's get on to the main characteristic features of the TARDIS. It's most known for its ability to time travel. If you love sci-fi and sci and non-fi, then you might already know time travel is regarded by most scientists as pretty much impossible, at least with how TV shows and movies portray it. Time travel into the future and time travel into the past are more opposite in terms of possibility than you might already think. Travelling into the future is relatively easy, in theory, as you would need to be travelling very fast, like close to the speed of light fast, which would mean your perception your perception of the passing of time is slower than for those who are going at a much slower speed. Are you still with me? So, leaving Earth in a ship at 99% of the speed of light, which is still very far out in terms of our current technology, and spending a few years out there and returning to Earth, you would find out that you were gone from Earth for a few decades. Only thing with time travelling into the future like this is, there's no going back, no Control Z, and by no means an instant teleport that the TARDIS is pretty much more or less capable of. So how about the past? Well, according to science expert Brian Cox, it is said that in order to go to the past, you would need to create wormholes which are not stable and therefore considerably less likely, and you would rely on already formed wormholes in the past in order to travel there. It could also require closed time-like curves, where the dimension of the time curves back on itself and makes a closed loop. And the traveller would hypothetically be able to travel both backwards and forwards in time. This is all in theory, and any changes made in the past would have already happened anyway, avoiding any chance of a paradox, as those time-travelling events would always have happened. Wibbly wobbly timey wimey indeed. That's it for this first part of the series. I have a lot to cover so I will be dividing it into two or three parts over the next few days or so. As always, if you enjoyed it, please drop a like or comment or subscribe if you're new and want to see more Doctor Who videos like this. Until next time guys, this is a sequence dematerializing. Bye!